morning, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door, and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself or rig the room to your advantage. Leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please, make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. You awesome. must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay. So like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. Uh, but, uh, you can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or, or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. Good. I'll wait for you here. The ICA has struck a deal with Dave Reddy, one of the two men your target has come to Miami to meet with. Reddy got in some trouble with the Moreno cartel, and the ICA has promised to clear it up for him if he helps us get close to Mark Faber. Reddy is currently waiting for you in the reception area of the Bayside Center. Don't take too long. They're expecting us upstairs in the conference room. How's this? Where'd you find that? Da, 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 never mind. I don't want to know. Let's go. Faber's already expecting us up there. Can't wait to meet him. Hey, this guy's with me. Dude, amazing job on Sierra's car. So, this deal is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in, that's all and then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. 
Getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know, buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid! The Moreno cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. Hey, uh, I seriously love your work on those Kronstadt Thank cars. You. Very cool, sir. You don't look at all like I expected. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisitions Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my brain book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, I think. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. All right, well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov. A relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fellow, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary. I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? <laughs> Let's try a small exercise. You. Suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it, but very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. What else? You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison, emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom, drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. Final bid? Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough. But there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone. But I would love to see you try that. I'll just head over to check on what that you guy's working on. You carry on. It's me. I've got the new act lined up. You've reviewed the plans. It's very public because the target is public. I want a big audience for this one. With higher extras as props telling them it's for a TV show. Add cameras for effect. Getting their assassin in place is all down to social engineering, and that's my headache, not yours. Just make sure the replacement cadaver is where I indicated, all right? Once Sukov's gone up in smoke, I'll reveal myself to the would-be assassin, get him in the elevator, and he'll take his shot once upstairs. That's your cue. Good. I've got a ton of things to prepare you at my end. To pass. You don't have I'll to. talk to you later.
You must be Mark Faber. I wish I could say I knew all about you, but Dave's been uncharacteristically secretive. You work in weapons development, too? More on the practical application side of things, if you understand. Oh, uh, uh, of course. V v very nice. <laughs> well, um, I looked at the diagrams you sent. I haven't had that much time to work on the prototypes, but I, I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. Mr. Faber. Yes. You're the weapons designer. Absolutely. Smashing. Let's have a look at what you've got. I know the designs I sent were unique, but I figured you would appreciate the challenge. I'm always up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. So, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you, Mr. Faber. I'm all about freedom of approach. Very well. Right, let's have a look at this. I need it to be an exact replica of Sukov's favorite fountain pen. And it has to... Huh? No explosive element. What the hell is this? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Stab the man? Looks to be made of boron nitrate nanotubing. It would be a very effective stabbing weapon, especially against the softer parts of a human body, like an eye. Very old-fashioned way about you. No self-respecting assassin would use something this silly. What's next? Fiber wires? <laughs> hmm. Perhaps we should agree to disagree on that, Mr. Faber. So, this is Robert Knox's new brainchild. Chilling. Can't really see it replacing humans for a long time, but... I will say, I admire his showmanship. But you, my friend, lack what all machines lack. Spontaneity. The ability to think freely, on your feet. And, perhaps more important than anything, the ability to feel fear. Whether we like it or not, the fear of death is what drives us, makes us human. Once we lose that, well, we're nothing more than empty shells drifting through life, waiting to finally be discarded. Hmm, the bomb doesn't actually have to be that powerful. But it is extremely important the explosive element is flashy enough. It's not misdirection if people aren't looking at it. This isn't exactly a discreet container, but I suppose if we add balloons to the event, spray paint this to look like a helium canister, I think we can make this work. You're not worried about losing control of the resulting explosion? Knox's octane booster isn't known for its reliability. Well, what's a little uncontrollable fire among friends? I'll be long gone by the time this thing is set off. Besides, need a decent amount of fire to crisp up the remains, you know? You're planning on using a body double. Of course. It's worked so far, so why stop? Got quite a few of them in cold storage. Practical for my vanishing trick, if you know what I mean. I'll head back to the briefing room for a while. I'll see you later. It's me. I just sent you the location for the next gig. I need Enjoy, you to sir. build me a pop-up bookstore there. Oh, give me a You'll be able to hold about 50 people at a time. There'll be pyrotechnics going off downstairs, so we need to make sure the place doesn't burn down before we're ready for it. There's also an elevator in the back, which I need to be able to control via remote. No. No, the main event takes place on the top floor. Morgan's assured me we can lure anyone we need up there quite easily. We'll detonate the entire floor using a new type of explosive I'm hoping to secure today. No, the agent should live. We need the witness. We'll detonate once he fires off the first shot. 
Lucky hit on a nearby gas canister. Far-fetched, sure. But they fell for the exploding fire extinguisher a few years ago. Sure it'll work. Right. I need to finish with an intel brief here, then I'll fly out to meet you. Looking fine today, sir. All right, so we know Sukov's planning on revealing his rag of lies to the world in New York next week. I paid off a call girl he frequents, and she let it slip where the bad boy's going to perform his evil deed. <laughs> that guy can't keep his strap shut about it. Frankly, I'm amazed the entire book isn't already online, but I guess that's our luck. Anyway, the downside is that he's going to have a lot of media. Fascinating, Mr. Reddy. I should like to go over all the files myself at some point. Make sure I don't miss any of these gold nuggets of information. Hmm, maybe we can use some of Noxus Octane Booster here. Combine it with magnesium and create a sparkly light show. Using it not to kill, but to distract. Or as an instigation of sorts. Might work. I suppose the current design is a little conservative. Your idea is interesting, Mr. Faber. <laughs> Where's the fun in taking out someone with this thing? In the right hands, anything can be a deadly weapon. Robots, huh? <laughs> Can't say I'm a big fan of the prospect of an android future. I may only be flesh and blood, but... <laughs> I've done alright for myself so far. That's a bleak observation, coming from a man who's cheated death so many times. <laughs> well, it's not really death I've cheated. Just humans. I wonder how I'd fare against something like this. Something artificial. Bred with a singular purpose. To kill. Would I be able to best it? Good question, Mr. Faber. Good question. How is something like this going to kill anyone? It's surprisingly simple to kill a person with some air. I had my doubts seeing this initially, but this could be just what I'm looking for. How would you kill someone with this? All it takes is a little imagination and a lot of patience. I'll be back. Keep everything warm for me, will you? Robert Knox certainly likes to keep a tight ship. Guards everywhere, eh? You're an important man. Look at your electronics. Show me one anything to happen. Oh, no chance of that, my friend. Didn't you know? I'm unkillable. <laughs> I maybe I should give Knox a discount if he lets me kill Gunslinger Dave in there. Okay, let's get back into it. So, we looked into renting the entire building. The short answer is, it can be done, but we'd need to scrap a couple of shell corps together in the process. Can't have anything linking back to Knox or I'll be out of a job. And I know you don't want that. So that makes it slightly more complicated, as there are, you know, a lot of moving parts included in this. But it's totally achievable. I'm on the case, biting down hard on this to get what you need. All right? All right! That's all very interesting, Mr. Reddy, but it's not really news to me. I certainly hope you were able to dig a little deeper than this. Stabbing weapon. Stupid. How am I supposed to create a memorable moment if I can't even get something as simple as an exploding pen? Maybe if it's just a small explosion, a precursor. Something that would set off a bigger thing would require an inside man. Hmm. I suppose if the objective is to attract attention, the idea is worth pursuing, Mr. Faber. <laughs> Where's the fun in taking out someone with this thing? It's surprisingly simple to kill a person with something like that. You're an interesting concept, my friend. Nobody would be able to resist the chance to get up close and personal with you. Which makes you very useful. I 
I wonder what hooking up a truckload of this stuff to a sprinkler system might do. Maybe a neighboring building? A small incendiary device and a timer. Let it burn for a few minutes and then activate the sprinklers. Hardly seems like an effective weapon. In the right hands, anything can be a deadly weapon. Okay, I think I've seen enough for now. Need to think for a while. I'll be back later. Dave Reddy. What an absolute arse. Didn't anyone air out in here while I was away? Never mind. Let's get back to it. Pavel Sukov and Knox. Way back. Sukov's older brother actually started Kronstadt with Knox, but was killed in a tragic accident just days before the company went on to the stock exchange. Pavel seems to think Mr. Knox had something to do with that, so he's been carrying a grudge for years. We've been giving him the old corporate runaround for about a decade until I got wind of this new book. I read an early draft, and let me tell you, it's as explosive as some of your finest work, Mr. Faber. We have to shut this guy down, and you're just the man to do it. Very well, it seems like we've got matching intelligence on most of this so far. I honestly expected some deeper insight into Sukov, something about his preferences, his character, habits. Let's see if we can find some of those, shall we? I think I'll just head over to that new fella and have a look at the equipment. I'll come back. Sure. Yeah, I'll just hang here. I got some other things I need to circle back on as well. I'm not much for reruns, Alice. The bow is amusing, I suppose, but the poisoning isn't something I'd like to try again. Besides, they wouldn't send the same people twice. Well, I sent the ICA an invite. Seeing as most of their top-tier agents have failed, they're bound to send him. If he even exists, you know? I'm beginning to wonder. Sure, we've all heard the stories. But that's all they've ever been. I Report hope he's anything real. suspicious to us, okay? I hope he shows. I should very much like to meet him. Then we've had a good run. If I go by anyone's hand, hey, I want it to belong to the best space. in the business. Step the fuck back. Simple as that. Good. Good, I'll see you later, Alice. How are you, sir? Mr. Faber. Yes. You're the weapons designer. Absolutely. Smashing. Let's have a look at what you've got. I know the designs I sent were... unique. But I figured you would appreciate the challenge. I'm always up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. So, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you, Mr. Faber. I'm all about freedom of approach. Very well. Eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit.